Let's uh, change themes for just a moment. Um, if, uh, if any of you, uh, like, like I do every day, drive uh, along Central or Magnolia or Brockton, uh, you know that the fly trap uh, can trap you there for a while. Um, and so, do, do you believe that the fly trap at Central Magnolia and Brockton is effective the way it is today? And if not, how are you going to fix it? And uh, Bowery, we'll, we'll hear from you first. Well, the first part is simple. No, it's not effective. Anybody that's been through that intersection knows it's not effective. I think they've tried every single type of reconfiguration they can, and some have been better, some have been worse, but none have been good. Uh, I think right now we need to go look at maybe going back a step with the two lanes where it causes you to make the ride up for Brockton. It's become problematic, and now there's no U-turn on Central. And I hear more people complain about that because they get stuck and they have no way to go. So I do think we need to look at it and maybe take a step back to where it was at least good, but not great. Uh, well, you know, I studied that intersection quite extensively. I heard a lot of people complaining about it. And I worked traffic for 29 years uh, with the Highway Patrol, and I've looked at it from all angles, and it is not very efficient. I can see what they tried to do, but it didn't work. And one of the major problems that happened is when we built the railroad underpass over at, uh, right around Merrill, is we decided to shut down Merrill and being able to go across there, and we took a perfectly four-lane road, a, a good four-lane road that would have taken the traffic to the freeway, and we shoved it all down Magnolia. So we made the problems worse. So I would propose that we unkink Merrill and actually put an intersection back in there if that's at all possible, and I've studied that as well. Originally, we were told it was gonna go down three feet. It went down about 16 inches. Signal light would work, and we can stop routing all the people additionally through that intersection that's known as the fly track. It's actually five and a half points is the way it kind of comes out to be. But uh, the, the timing isn't right. The signal uh, setup isn't quite right. We need to fix it. Our people are crying out for that and I will do whatever it takes to make it right and to possibly reroute that traffic down Merrill where it should be. Thank you. Valerie, another 30 seconds? I don't think Mike and I disagree at all on this one. Great. We'll move on then. 